Edward Clark G'day, Sean. from Gallant Plumbing. Welcome to the spotlight. Thank you. Good now, you, you're a director of Gallant Plumbing, yep. a trade services business. Just give us more specific on what services you provide and who you provide them to. Sure. So, um, a general plumbing maintenance business. Um, so, what does that actually what does it actually mean? So, it's not we're not involved in construction at all. Um, as a rule. So it is really fix the existing components of a building, all things associated around plumbing. So if there's a roof leak, if there's a burst pipe, if there's a blocked drain, um, if there's a hot water service that's not working, they're the four big things really that we do. Or if there's an upgrade that is needed on an existing structure, that's what we tend to focus our energy on. And who do you, who do you provide that yeah. service? So we provide it to predominantly asset managers, so that's property managers, facility managers, owners corporations that really see the need to be serviced and serviced really well. Um, and that's where we think we differentiate because for us it's plumbing, anyone can do plumbing. Plumbing is just, I say anyone, but um, plumbing is just a ticket to the game. It's, what, it's the experience that wraps around plumbing that makes our um, our clients really happy to do business with us. So that's like a, a Brian from Tideways, for example, we Excellent. hope. And, and so how have you differentiated? How have you, from, from yeah. other, other services? I, th I think one of the key um, frustrations a lot of customers have uh, in dealing with a tradie is just, uh, generally speaking, is just a lack of quality, concise communication. So where is, where is the project positioned at any point in time along the way? And that's where we do differentiate. And just on a really simple, high-level term is just in terms of just communicating the lights out, just so that they know where things are, what you know, what's the problem, where is the problem, what needs to be done about it, what are the costs going to be? No surprises, no no nasty business. It's just this is unfortunately the situation that we're in, and this is what we need to do. And for asset managers and landlords, that's ideal because they're obviously then having to communicate to yeah. tenants yeah. And, and, and people in, so, within the building. So we look at things a little bit differently. We want to make the asset manager, we want to make the, the owner's corporation manager, the FM manager look like a professional. We give them the information in quick, in a timely manner. Uh, they look like the professional. because They then communicate that to the, you know, the, the building owner or the owner's corporation committee. Um, so it's a really simple thing, but we're trying to help them not be another pain or, or a pain point for them. Excellent, and, and that's, a, that's a real disruptor in the, in the, the trades. It sounds simple, area. doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds simple, it, it is simple, but it's just, it's, just, um, it's a no-brainer for us. Yeah, excellent, and, and what drives you to, to bring about this? What makes you passionate about bringing about this service? Oh, look, I was just let down by so many, I was let down by so many plumbers in the past and I just thought there's got to be a better way so um, we got into it three years ago and uh, you know our vision is to redefine what it means to be a tradie and do business with a tradie so um, it's just uh, there needs to be change people are crying out for this change and so we're hoping we're delivering it yeah so you see yourself as a disruptor absolutely in, in yeah, the industry absolutely. okay so disrupting what what do you see as the the future then for service providers or service industry like yourself? Who are going to be the leaders or how are you going to be the leader? Well, I suppose we're just, it's, for us, it's, um, uh, the service is a simple thing. Like it's, we want to service you. We're in the game of, of a, a service provider. Um, but we want to view our profession as that. It is a profession, not, you know, the, the, the stereotypical tradie can be a bit rough and gruff and we want to be like, no, no, no. You know, this is, people choose this profession, let's call it that and let's behave like that. So um, really step up to the plate and own that we are professionals and but we have to behave like that. And so if we have to behave like that, uh, that's in everything we do. So yeah. um, it's the way we perceive ourselves, it's the way we want to treat our customers and the way the customers want to treat us too. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And so I see that and a lot of uh, things in social media and a lot of information that you're putting out there is a lot of investment into your people. Is that where you see most of your time going? A lot. Yeah. We're just about to, um, we're about to have a, next year's a big year for us in, in, in that space. So yeah, absolutely. It's, wow. all, about, it's all about the learning. Yeah. Wow. Watch out. And a couple of other things to finish off. Um, one thing, who inspires you? 
Who inspires me just yeah. in, in... Just, just in, who inspires you in general? Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just out of the disruption of pretty traditional industries, saw an opportunity of cross, you know, um, uh, the airline industry, for example, um, to um, just change the way business is done. And uh, he's, an, he's an inspiration for me. Yeah. Excellent. So 2019... Is a big year for us. Big yeah. year for Gallant Plumbing. Edward Clark, thank you very much. We look forward to that big year. Thank you, Sean. Thank you.